Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about a new character, a new king, his name is Hezekiah. Well, Hezekiah said, I loved my father very much because he was my father, but my father was very wrong to worship idols of wood and stone. King Ahaz was the father of Hezekiah and he had not been a good man. He had forgotten all about the one true God and made his people forget about God too. Well, we found out already, boys and girls, that's never good, right? I love God and want to worship and obey him, said Hezekiah. He trusted in the God of Israel. He was very close to God and he followed the Lord in everything. The first thing he did was he broke down the shameful idols his father had built. His father had built altars and false idols and gods. He broke those down. He removed the shrines on the hills and even broke up the bronze serpent Moses has, had made because the people were starting to worship the bronze serpent. You remember the serpent they raised up in the wilderness? Well, people were worshiping it and burning incense to it like it was a god. When they knew all along it was one true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Well, Hezekiah wanted his people to worship the only one true God, the same God that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were worshiped. So he had the priest and the Levites cleanse the temple at Jerusalem and prepare to observe the Feast of Passover. It's a special feast. Remember when the children of Israel first came out of Egypt? Well, that's what they called the Passover. When the angel came, if, at the angel of death, and if there was blood on the door mantle post, he would go over and the baby wouldn't be killed. That's called Passover. Well, he had the priest clean the temple to prepare for Passover. Not all of the Jewish people wanted to go to Jerusalem and worship, though. They had gotten used to worshiping their false idols, their wooden idols and idols made out of stone. They wanted to keep doing it. It was easier. But many other people were happy to worship the true God once more. Before Hezekiah came to the throne, the king of Assyria had gained power over Judah. The people of Judah had to pay heavy taxes. That means they had to pay lots of money. But Hezekiah refused to pay money to a heathen king. That means he didn't believe in the God of Israel. But the king was going to force Hezekiah to pay the taxes or fight. Well, the Assyrians had a large army, very large, while Hezekiah had a very small one. So he decided to pay the king of Assyria. He knew that the king, his army, the king of Assyria's army could beat his army. But the king still wanted to fight. Even after he paid his money and taxes, he still wanted to fight. He was evil, the king of Assyria. What am I going to do? Asked Hezekiah. He was afraid of the powerful Assyrians. They were very powerful. They had conquered many territories. Hezekiah hurried to the temple and asked God to help him. He knew what to do, didn't he? To pray and ask God to help him. He asked him to help him and his people out of their trouble. God told Hezekiah to send several princes to talk to Isaiah the prophet. Now Isaiah was the prophet now. Elijah and Elisha were in the past. Now Isaiah is on the scene. He's a very, very special prophet too, just like Elijah and Elisha. And you already know that prophets are men of God whom God uses to talk to people. It can be men or women, but in this situation, it's a man. And so I'm gonna turn you to the board so you can see. So here are the princes going to talk to Elijah. I mean, not to Elijah, but to Isaiah. Isaiah said to Hezekiah, the king won't enter your palace in Jerusalem 
he will be killed and his people will return to their own land. And that is exactly what happened, boys and girls. Never again did the king of Assyria fight against Hezekiah, for God heard and answered Hezekiah's prayer. Well, sometime later, something else happened to Hezekiah. Whoops. Hezekiah became very sick. Miss Pam's going to tell you what happened here, too. Here's Isaiah again. Remember, he's the new prophet. Well, Hezekiah became very sick, and the prophet Isaiah came to visit him. You are going to die, Isaiah told Hezekiah. Oh, Lord, prayed Hezekiah. I don't want to die. I still need to help my people. And Hezekiah cried bitter tears. Then God spoke to Isaiah again. Tell Hezekiah that in three days he will be well and will live 15 more years. How glad Hezekiah was to hear this. Still, he wanted some sign that he was going to be well. So Isaiah prayed and asked God to move the shadow of the sundial 10 degrees backward as Hezekiah had requested. When he saw it happen, Hezekiah knew God would heal him for only God could move the shadow. Just as God promised Hezekiah was healed, he built up his kingdom and he became very rich and proud of his riches. And it's never good to be proud, is it, boys and girls? So God taught him to be humble again. However, Hezekiah was a very good king because he loved God and obeyed God. No other king after him was as close to God as he was. So, boys and girls, this talks about another king, Hezekiah. And he was a good king. Remember, he tore down all the altars of his father, and he wanted to always do the right thing. He prayed to God, and you know what? It, and God delivered him, didn't he? Twice, actually, from the king of Assyria. He delivered him. You remember the king of Assyria wanted to fight with him, but God took care of that king, didn't he? He killed his people. And then, sometime later, he became very sick. And Hezekiah, Isaiah the prophet told him, and he was going to die. He was very sick. But Hezekiah said, but I want to do the right thing, and I want to take care of my people. And God knew his heart. He knew he truly wanted to take care of the people, so God told him he would give him 15 more years. And to prove that that was a fact and that he would do it, God made time go backwards. The sundial is what they used for time back then in the biblical times. And so he asked God to make the sundial go backwards. And so he caused time to go backwards. Isn't that pretty special? And God took care of him. And it says that there was no other king after King Hezekiah that was as good as him. He loved God and wanted to obey God. There were many kings in Israel, but many were wicked and evil. Like Ahab, remember Ahab and Jezebel? His father's name was Ahaz. He was not, he was a wicked king too. He had lots of gods. And remember from Genesis until now, the very beginning of creation, it's always been about the one true God. And even today, boys and girls, there are people that want to worship other gods, but there's only one true God. And God will always reveal himself, even today, he will. There are still men out there that want to fight against those that believe, and God will always deliver us that believe. He's done it in the past, and he will do it up until the time he comes back to take us home and to set up his kingdom here. So that's today's story, boys and girls. 
And I just want you to remember that God will always take care of you if you do what and you obey him and you love him. That's what I want you to remember from our story today from Hezekiah. God can even stop time. Isn't that special? Okay, boys and girls, let's have a word of prayer and I'll let you go, okay? Hope you have a great day today. Father God, I just praise you and I thank you for who you are in our lives. Thank you for the story of Hezekiah and your prophet Isaiah, Lord, and how you spoke through him. Thank you, Father, that you were even, that you took care of Hezekiah's enemies. He didn't even have to lift a finger, Lord. You took care of it because he prayed to you. Thank you, Father God, that he was sick and about to die. And even the prophet, the man of God, told him he was going to die. But, Lord, when he came to you and he prayed to you, you heard him and you gave him grace, Father. And you allowed him to live 15 more years so he could take care of your people. And you said he was a good king. So, Father, we just thank you for the example of Hezekiah and Isaiah, and Lord, how we can apply that to our lives today. Lord, help us to be the people that you would have us to be as followers of you, Father God. And we just um, want to make you happy so that one day you'll say, well done. You did a good job, my, well, my faithful servant. And that's our heart's desire, Father. Hear our prayers. We love you, Father God. We love you, Jesus. And we love your precious Holy Spirit that lives within us. And so just be with each boy and girl and man and woman that listens to this story, Lord. And just speak to their hearts the way that only you can. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's today's story about Hezekiah. We'll be back next time with another story. You go out and have a great day. And remember, Miss Pam loves you, but God loves you so much more. Bye now.